At the Center for Society and Mental Health, we work with just brilliant early career researchers who are doing fantastic work in areas of young people and mental health, work and welfare, but also marginalized communities. They are the future of the field and it is a privilege to actually work with them, to learn from them and to get inspired by what they're bringing. So our vision for, for the early career researchers that are part of our centre is that we really want to develop a whole new generation of interdisciplinary social science research leaders. We've got researchers who are based in schools collecting data from young people about what's happening in terms of their lives, the risks that they're facing, uh, what's helping protect them and nurture them. Um, we've got researchers who are working very closely with people with lived experience um, to analyse existing data that we've collected from people across the UK to understand what might protect their mental health um, as they deal with all the challenges that are happening around us. And they're creating a whole other set of resources as well to really support the careers of all sorts of other people. I think the centre is, is really committed to supporting its early career researchers and trying to do things differently maybe, so, so to really give people a chance to develop their own um, independent streams of research and, and I've really appreciated being given quite a lot of autonomy since joining the centre in developing the, the, the topics and the areas of research that really excite me and drawing on my past experience to, to really build something um, that sits within the overarching themes of the centre but also allows as, as an early career researcher to, to develop the, the connections and the, um, the programmes of work that I'd really like to work on. It's a place that places equal value on people regardless of their career stage. It doesn't feel oppressively hierarchical. It doesn't feel like a space where as an early career researcher you can't speak up and have an idea. Um, it feels like a space where you are supported and where the senior management team care about the progression of early career researchers and whether that's in academia or not. And I think the other thing is is that we, we are being not just kind of allowed to but really strongly encouraged to try new ways of working um, to you know try to be at the at the cutting edge of um, how we work together with young people schools communities to do our work how we um, incorporate that co-production style you know approach um, to, to everything that we do um, and also innovative methods and so on as well that you know you might try them they might not they might not work but we you know we're supportive to to try those things out and try to you know shift things forward for the field. I've worked with some of the younger or early career researchers who have brought in huge amounts of expertise you know, around activism, around um, social campaigning, around um, you know, shifting the narrative away from kind of deficit approaches, moving towards resistance approaches, entirely different sources of information that I wouldn't normally tap into because you're in your own echo chamber. So working at the centre has provided a structure which has enabled to me to be and taught me to be braver in pushing for ways of working that I, we as collectively think are ethical and isn't just about furthering your own career. I think that's what it has embedded in me um, and yeah, given me the opportunity and the courage to pursue. So if you're an early career researcher and watching this, wanting to make a difference, get in touch with us, you will meet a fascinating range of other researchers, community partners who are doing real work on the ground and people with lived experience who bring their sort of own expertise to the work and it is these kind of collaborations that you could become a part of.